the first months I still had hope. I think I was still so naive to believe that the world is gonna do something. They are gonna save people, they are gonna help them uh, with the horrible situation that, I, that they are stuck in now. But knowing that it's been almost one year and nothing has changed, but everything is getting worse day by day for people in Afghanistan. And now the world is not even talking anymore about what is going on there and what is happening and what is the resolution or solution. It's, it's very heartbreaking and it makes me sad. To be a refugee, I, I felt humiliated so many times because I have to go through a system and the system is not very kind. It is not very supportive for, for refugees. There they don't really care if you are an artist or if you are an engineer or have established you were back in your country. Here you are a refugee and you have to go through the system and uh, it has been very difficult. زندگی در تبعید چیز آسان نیست هر روز مجبور استی صبح با غم دلتنگی بیدار شوی که هیچ رای حل برش نداری و فقط میتونی که او را با خود حمل کنی و هر روز بیشتر و بیشتر میشه اما حس خوب دارم که زنده هستم و میتونم حرف بزنم بنویسم درباره زنای افغانستان درباره مشکلاتی که دارن درباره تمام زنایی که نمیتونن حرف بزنن خیلی هم میگن که من نمیتونم حس خانه داشته باشم در فرانسه بعد از ترک افغانستان اما حس که من به فرانسه دارم ای است که فرانسه یک خانه امن در روزایی شد که ما دیگه نمیتونستیم در کشور خود در امنیت باشیم یک محل امن شد و پناهگاه امن شد به که ما بتونیم دوباره امید داشته باشیم و به زندگی فکر کنیم در حالی که کشور ما غرق در سیاهی شد و هیچ امیدی از داخل افغانستان نداشتیم